Hey guys, my name is Chloe Rose. I'm an astrologer, a Renaissance woman, and I dance, paint, sing, produce, and I'm currently on day 15 of a 99 day yoga flow sequence. And what this means is, as I progress with my yoga sequence, um, if there was ever a day that I needed to miss, it would continue on the next day. And so far I've been consistent with all 15 days, so yay, progress. And I'm giving myself a lot more self-love, self-care, and studying astrology every day and sharing it. Um, about this time last year, I kind of felt the push to be more visible and to be more authentic in my sharing. And I'm finding that it's challenging. It's hard to make myself ready to be on camera. And it's hard for me to also get something that I'm happy with. But in this container of 99 days of sharing, same with my yoga journey, I'm so grateful to approach myself each day as an object of my affection and no longer be trying to give it to the world and feeling unseen because I haven't yet seen myself. It's doing so much for those around me. It's doing so much for my soul, for my ancestry. And I feel so immensely proud of all my progress. So even this painting, small time painting, very large painting behind me, I got a really positive feedback on it yesterday. And it's one that I painted in between doing my tried and tested method and really seeking to be something more with art. So I'm at a very beautiful moment in life and I'm so grateful to be a part of Circle with Kayla Rose and to feel so inspired to share. Please check out my open Spotify playlist for Pisces season. Feel free to message me or to directly add to it if you'd like anything really vibey, anything really um, good for focus as Saturn just moved into Pisces. And with inside degrees, which is what I've been studying with astrology, we're actually at 30 degrees Aquarius. So the only difference is from what I've studied with astrology, degrees zero through 29 is a boundary and then being in integrity with all that you've learned to be yourself in the world. And with inside degrees, it's love and then your beliefs around your boundaries that can reshape who you are. So what I'm doing currently is going through the entire zodiac based on Vedic astrology for the days of the week, and then specifically looking at those degrees and then examining them, sharing what the energy may come out as. And it's been interesting. There's been some synchronicity and a lot of this is just deep, Piscean work to where the immediate understanding isn't always going to be there, but there are levels and layers to each message that has been channeled by Elias Lonsdale, who's also written the Christ letters, which, oh my gosh, growing up like Pentecostal and then moving into more of a Christian mystery has been so enriching. So I found my niche. I found exactly what I'm here to do. And while I'm not quite trending on social media, I still feel like I'm being seen, even if it's by people who are a little bit more reluctant to maybe admit that they like astrology or to connect with someone who's at a very early stage of sharing. And it's such a beautiful process. It's painful. It makes me cringe. It's really bringing out this fire within me that's like, no, I'm worthy of being seen. And I know exactly that in this process of fine refining and fine tooth combing over myself and who I am and who I see myself as, in a year's time, I'm going to come full circle and continue spiraling up and up and up because this time last year I was in a very different place and I am so, so, so grateful to have arrived to this moment in my life and to come through some very heavy, trauma informed work. I really was able to get real with my pain and to do the shadow work with Kayla to open up and be vulnerable. And I'm so glad. So blessings. I really look forward to sharing more of my inside degrees on this platform. I also share on my Instagram and it's something that it's like partially art movement, partially astrology movement, me just getting comfortable looking at the daily chart each day and sharing my own insights with astrology. So 
I want to kind of go in because today is Mars Day and my Mars is natally in Libra. And right now Mars is at 21 degrees Gemini. So the beautiful thing about this is that um, I've developed this book for self-astrology study, but you can go to any website, look up your chart and start getting into what these degrees are and what they look like for you. So today, Gemini 21 degrees, wine cast retrieved from an ancient shipwreck. Having known all along, now finding that you are on the beam and bringing something starkly craved which you bear a limitless supply of. Myriad complications arise, issues of ego. You are too blatant, too brazen, the tortuous journey of stepping away from gifts and wonders until you can be light and free with them. Soul testings for an advanced destiny to be optimally relevant and effective, being shown in every possible way that you cannot afford a drop of self-intoxication. When you know great and vital things, from the dawn of time, you must be stripped bare and skillfully flow in a fluent grasp of the moment's chances. This is a vast destiny ripening and becoming vintage. To approach with anything less would be glaringly disruptive. With the moon in Virgo, I think that there is a, an opening physically to this greater understanding of spirit in our lives and what we're being called to do. And the self-intoxication I find is just this fixation on things that are not as we would like for them to be, but we also, when we're in reverence for ourselves, when we're tender with ourselves and where we've come and how far we've come on our journey, it's a whole um, innovative way to be. And we've come so far that this self-intoxication can kind of risk our balance. And I think prayer, during Saturn and Pisces will take us so far, meditation will take us far, pushing ourselves and then tending to ourselves creates this emotional, physical vortex that's going to allow for our lightness and our freedom. So I pray that your Mars day is popping and that you really get some insights from studying your chart with me. My Instagram is Chloe Rose of Bloom and I so look forward to seeing you again soon. Blessings.